All right. So I know I haven't posted a video in a hot minute, and I was really trying to get like things on a good, consistent, you know, whatever. Um, but multiple things happened. One, got a little cold out. That means seasonal depression. Uh, this year was a little different, though, because I'm not really sad. I'm just kind of, like, mentally exhausted. No motivation. Um, but there's no sadness, which is nice. Like, I can't describe <laughs> how awesome it is to have a little bit of seasonal spiciness without being sad or, like, just, you know, I'm not miserable. I'm just kind of, eh, just tired, you know. So, for the last three weeks, almost four weeks... I have spent every day um, out here in the garage after work, as well as any weekend that I haven't had my kids. I have been in here just tearing shit up, um, getting things done, because as you can see, you know, um, here I was, I was fit working on controllers for Xbox. Um, one of my Dukes broke. So, actually, random tangent, one of my Dukes didn't break. I bought four... Um, four foot extensions for original Xbox. Now that I have like a new setup, I'll probably do like a, you know, thing. Not now, but I'll show you a tour, you know, next video. Uh, this one actually has a purpose, really, why I'm posting this, not just to talk about random stuff. So yeah, so I bought four extenders for the X original Xbox, and I was going to play the Punisher, and every time that I would just do anything... Uh, no, I was playing a Medal of Honor, and when I would do anything, the controller would, like, it slowed the game up, the controller would disconnect, and it would tell me, hey, plug a controller in. I'd press the start, and it would say, plug a controller in. I'm like, what the heck, every time that the game would load, like, into a story mode, like, like the opening cutscene, because I don't have a save file on that Xbox for Medal of Honor, um, Frontline, by the way, uh, it would just constantly kick out and kick out. So I'm like, I bet you, because this cheap, I paid $10 for four four-foot cables, and I'm using all of them. Like, my Xbox is up on a shelf, and I'm sitting over here in like, the middle of the garage. So I have the all four extenders plus the cable on the, the controller. And so for like a good half hour, I was convinced that a controller was broken. And then after trying like two more controllers, I realized the vibration function was... Um, basically, this is what's happening. The vibration requires some amount of like power to it to, to, to give power to the DC for this. And those little tiny baby wires they put in all those <laughs> extenders isn't enough over times four of them plus the cable here that whenever it went to go vibrate it was just not getting enough power and to save itself and to save the Xbox it just disconnects. Like it's like a fail safe with newer, I know it's 25 years old almost, but with newer let's say post 2000 PlayStation 2, like 6th gen, right? So 6th gen and up, all those consoles are going to have a fail safe in them where they kind of save themselves from burning out. So it was a really cool thing to just learn that the controllers are fine, it's that I'm using all these extenders. So I turned off vibration and that seemed to work fine, like it just, it worked, nothing happened. But playing old games without vibration is kind of lame, so I wound up taking two of the extenders out and that worked. So the cable's a little, um, you know, kind of taut, but... It, it was a cool just like I've been diagnosing things for so long now that I was able to figure out that um, so yeah that's why I have just my control these are this is my bin for my like random controllers I've got my Genesis um, it's like the I don't know what the heck you call it I'm, obviously it's whatever the model number is but it's like the, the Genesis controller that's smaller and different than the other ones I've got Nintendo controllers. Now, the thing with these ones, though, they're USB. I even got Super Nintendo controller. I've got it all. PlayStation 2. Now, what's funny is that's an aftermarket, but you know I have the original DualShock 2 because why not? This is my most, like, I don't know if it's sought after, but it's probably my most unique one. It's literally like a gun. But we're not here for controllers, right? I'm only mentioning this because I had my whole table ready to start working on guitars, you know. But I had to work on the controller issue last night. Because here's the thing. As much as I do need to get shit done, when it's like 10 o'clock on a Saturday night and I have some friends over, I'm going to be hanging out playing some Xbox, you know. So we played the Punisher a lot. But besides talking about the new everything here, it's actually really nice because I have um, this table in my little area set up here to where I'm standing at like a perfect spot where I'm out of the way. But I can do, like, painting, and I can do all that stuff without really messing the rest of the garage up. And also, it's cool, I'm behind the garage door, or in front of the garage door. You can see my favorite tapestry. 
of, of all. I love it so much. Need to shave my head too, but I just haven't had the motivation. So, um, besides all that and the tangent of this, the reason why we're here, um, on top of saying like, hey, we're we're gonna be consistent about videos. Um, real quick before I get into what we're here for, uh, we have a video of my ten-year-old son building a guitar. This is like a year and a half old now, so my kid's already twelve. Uh, but back when he was 10, almost 11, we built a guitar together. So I have a video of that super long, super in-depth. I have a video on that. I have the Logitech playing. I have the Gene Simmons playing. I have the um, other one that I built. I built a Warriors of Rock guitar, uh, an Arduino one. I don't know if I have the video on that, but if I have the video on that, I have the video of testing it. Um, so there's those. Then I have the video on my cabinet, because one thing I actually just didn't mention earlier, I had a Clone Hero cabinet I built in 2019, or really 2020, sorry, at the pandemic, while everybody was out of work because you couldn't work. I had to work overtime and a lot of extra hours building, like, medical machines and stuff, because that's, you know, hey, we're gonna, you know, my company that I worked for at the time used to build, like, printers for, uh, like, baseballs and lighters and stuff, and then we started really doing, like, syringes and IV bags and stuff because money's in medical, you know, but that's another tangent for another day. So I built the arcade cabinet because I had a stimulus check and it was basically like, I'm working all this overtime. My, um, my wife, ex-wife at the time, oh, whatever, um, was working at Red Lobster and they were still doing like call-ins. So she was able to work at location and stuff and just still making some money. So we were able to just have like whatever that, that stimulus check was. I bought all the materials and like everything to build an arcade cabinet. Now, sadly, I never did a video on it over all these years. I have quite a few videos that I'll like, you know, kind of piece together at one point to make a video on it. But it was just, it was too easy to come out here and just veg out and just stare in front of a, a video game cabinet. And I know like in my head, it's kind of a moot argument because I have two TVs on the back wall now instead of one TV in a cabinet. But the cabinet took up a lot of space, it was too bulky, it was really just an eyesore after all these years, it was getting chipped away and just damaged, and it was in my garage versus when I built it, it was in a basement nice and, you know, packed away, and it, it I just had to, I had to get rid of it, um, so I spent, and weirdly enough, it took me like two days to build it, <laughs> it took me all of like 20 minutes to disassemble it, I was just tearing that shit apart, I think I did it because I was really sad that I had to do it. I made a long, like, half-hour video where I talk about it and, like, the history of it and stuff. Um, but I start ugly crying pretty good, so I deleted that. Because as much as I'm totally cool with being vulnerable, uh, it was a bit much. And you can't understand somebody when they're just bawling their eyes out <laughs> behind a camera. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, no, I'll get the tour done, and I'll get some other stuff. And I'm just it's nice looking around. I have my podcast set up stuff, like all my audio things. Not that I'm going to do podcasting anymore, because that was another thing I did during the pandemic. Actually, right before the pandemic, really, um, because that was when it got big. I worked at a haunted house for uh, two seasons, and I did a lot of electrical work for them, like wired up um, one of their locations. So I got a good pretty penny for that. That supplied the money for the podcast studio that I had in my old house. And now, because I don't have, like, besides random, like, foam pieces... I really didn't keep anything besides, like, this one TV and then all of the audio equipment, you know. But I didn't keep anything else. So. Sadly, the one thing I wanted to keep the most was this crazy table that we got. I don't know if it was even mine. I think I just took it. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, so, what we're here for most of all. Don't get offended. Don't be upset. I'm actually very flattered. But I'm getting so fucking annoyed by the requests for the Guitar Hero 3 set lists. I don't know what happened to Guitar Hero 3 in the past two months. In the past week. Literally the past week. But the past two months, I have gotten no less than a dozen requests a day between like the various, I think three or four, Guitar Hero set lists that I have. And years ago, me and Plum got into it on Facebook about something, and he was indirectly talking shit to me, like, real, real bad talking shit to me, uh, or about me, but just not doing me by name, and I got so upset about it, because I was like, I like Plum, I don't want to, you know, I don't want no nonsense, so I 
just put all my set lists on private and I made it so you can't download them without permission. And I never, I've never changed that. I have since left the Facebook. I have like four different, I have two different Facebooks since then. Um, me and Plum don't talk at all anymore. I don't interact with anybody from the old RGC days or Guitar Hero. And besides like one person I have on Facebook, um, I maybe two or three people I have on Facebook. I really don't interact with anyone anymore. So I'm totally over the whole saltiness. I'd really, besides just those details, I don't even remember really what it was about. Just that maybe I was making set lists. And he was making set lists, and I made like an 80s one. So I did something where I didn't do something perfect, and everybody got upset with me. And I was just like, I'm just curating random shit. Uh, these aren't my charts. I'm just putting charts in a set list, and I'm giving them to you to download. Um, so I felt so, like, butthurt about it at the time. And I was, you know, this is years ago. So this is pre-pandemic, like, maybe two years before the pandemic, you know. This is back when I was a admin of the RGC on Facebook. And, uh... Yeah, so all these years later, I still have those on my Google Drive, because why not? And I don't even know if the videos are private or if the videos are open, but somehow people get links to my Google Drive <laughs> set lists. And at first, I'm like, cool, man, I'll, I'll get a couple of you. But I just cannot do, especially this last week, this last really two weeks, it slowed down a little bit, but maybe two weeks ago for a solid week, I was getting upwards of 100 requests a day. And I'm not even kidding, like, I kind of don't have a way to show it um, at least maybe somebody could explain to me how to show it because i don't know activity you know like how to view activity for a request but every like five minutes i'm at work and my phone just like bing 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 i'm like what the f oh man it's another request and it's sad because i just started denying all of like i just started swiping not denying them i'm just swiping like i'm not interacting with this because i don't have time for it so i feel bad and then that made me think of how about i just piggyback back burner onto this video about I'm kind of back to a consistent basis. I'd never be consistent, we'll be honest with that. But at least more consistent than I'm, you know, not uploading. Uh, so yeah, I figured throw that in here where we will... I'll put in the description, I'll put an individual link for each set list that I have available on my Google Drive. Totally shareable link. You don't have to ask for permission to be an editor or a viewer or what, anything like that. And I will also, in those videos, if they are still public, I will pin a comment... That just says, hey, if you're looking to download this, click this link instead. I won't go through and edit all my videos because it's I don't really care. It's it's way easier for me to go find a video, make a comment, pin the comment, and then just go from there. So hopefully that solves that the Guitar Hero three setlist issue. Um, I would love to know what happened though. Did like somebody come out with an update or something? I know like a year or two ago they came out with a GH three. Um, not plus, that's been a thing forever. The, the, the next iteration of GH3, where it turns it into Clone Hero, basically, where it's more drag and droppy, you can do music video backgrounds, and, and other things of that nature. Um, I never got that version, I'm still on Guitar Hero 3 Plus from like 2018, because I just rock old school shit. I mean, I'm still using Clone Hero version 23.4 like or something, not like point twenty three, not version 1, you know. I'm using an old school version. New songs, I every time I download a new song, you know what I have to do? I have to go in there, I have to delete their new fucking weird um I I could I don't know the the file type because I haven't done it in like a week or two. But anytime I download a new song, I have to go in, delete the file type music, I have to now download my own music, I have to put it in there, I have to make sure it's all synced up and then I can play it and then we're good to go. But it's like every song I download, I can't even play in my old version of Clone Hero because it doesn't support the new version of how they are do, doing things, you know. So I think we're good. I don't need to be talking no more. I'm kind of just rambling and looking all over the place. I'm speaking about all this stuff, but I'm kind of looking around too, being like, what's up? Oh, I also, I didn't mention earlier, there's a video of working on, the, the main videos, working on these six explorers and getting two done, and then getting two more done subsequent, uh, subsequent, uh, subsequently after that. No, but we're good. Like, I'm in a good mood. Like I said, even though... I'm exhausted mentally, I'm doing well, and we're doing well, and I'm very happy to have transformed my garage into something that I can come out here during this winter, and I know that I'm going to be good to just grind away and get stuff done. I don't have a camera mount up above yet, and I probably will, but at least for now I have this one, and that's that's good, you know, but I'm going to clean up all the controller stuff, get this put under here where all of my controller stuff is. And then, yeah, um, hopefully sometime this week before Thanksgiving we'll get another video out.